uh, my parents are divorced now. Right. But if I go with one side of the family, they will have racial slurs, they will say negative things towards my black side and then being around my black side wow. mm. will have its own <laughs> issues with you know the white racial slurs the asian racial slurs so you constantly growing up are in this battle to feel like really defensive within your own home depending right. on which side you're in but no one really speaks you about to, that do you feel like you have to choose a side well, going my experience is a bit different like i said i was born in the caribbean and mm. then when i came here after being homeschooled, I went to an all black school. So I was probably, there was a handful of us that was probably the lightest in that school. So all of our teachers were African and Caribbean, bar yeah. one. So yeah, like you would receive certain slurs being mixed race as well. Mm. But again, you're not trying to talk about it because when growing up, you would say you're black. But it was only when my mum sat me down and said, because my dad would always say you're a black woman. Right, right. But it was only when my mum sat me down and said, I love that you are wholeheartedly within the black community. You know, you've gone to a black church, um, black school, mm. but I keep on hearing you say me as a black girl, but I carried you for nine months and I have no black in me. So how can you be a black girl? Ooh. So from when my mum said that, it right. made me think, do many mixed race people that have non-black parents, how do they feel about their child constantly saying, well, I'm black? Because what about the other side? If it wasn't for that white side, that Asian side, there would be no you. Mm. And I think people, because a lot of mixed race people growing up in the 80s and 90s, they did face racism, like especially mixed race guys. They're just seen as black guys. Right. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. The police is not going to be like, oh, I think that's a mixed race one there yeah, and that's yeah, a black yeah. one. He's you're an, black. He's going to be an IC3, yeah. You, you're black. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think mixed race people, especially men, have the same um, issues that black men have. But then they'll have the ones that I was discussing within their own home. And oftentimes, if a white woman went with a black man and then he like left or they split up, mm. you would get all of this angst from the white side. We told you not to go with a black guy. Black people are useless. It's their opportunity to then be racist and show what are you doing? And then you're having to hear this growing up. So then growing up mixed race, is it like a, do you, is it like a battle for you mentally? Was it like a mental battle? Yeah, sometimes because the, the constant hearing about yeah. black people are like, it's, do you know what? It's about classism as well. Right, okay. Go so on. my family on my mother's side consider themselves to be middle class. Right. So my mum deciding to marry, you know, this huge muscular black guy, four gold teeth, like <laughs> tinted out Mercedes thumping Tupac was like, what are you right. doing? Not only have so you gone for a black So he was a stereotypical black, 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 stereotypical black guy, well, according to that. According, according to, to visually. Saying. Yeah, yeah, visually. Yeah, Sit yeah. down with my dad, no. Do you mm, see what I mean? Mm. But visually, he was the stereotypical. And um, yeah, on my mother's side, it's like, not only have you gone for a black man, you've gone for ones with huge chain, gold teeth, like what the hell? Mm. And then as I grew up, it was always like, Oh wow, you you graduated. Oh wow, you work for yourself. Oh wow, we they thought they would say that about you, you. Yeah. Oh, we thought you would have had like four baby fathers by now, like you know, pushing a pram. Da 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 da. These joke, but they were in je jest. And who? What side was that from? My mother's side. Your mother's my side. Father's right. Side. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then um, again, I've experienced it on the other side as well. Like, why did my dad go for? you know, a white woman. Oh, marry, white. the one that he decides to marry is not black, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. you would hear it from like both sides, or even when I'd go back to the Caribbean and I would do something that might be a bit silly, it'd be like, that's obviously not the, your black side. Black side, that's your white that's, side. That's your white Asian side or some st stupidness like that. And you, you'd always get it. And obviously it's marred in like, it's, it's banter. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Mm. But then that's the mm. same thing mm. that people say when they work in the police force that, you know, it's banter. Everything's banter. Yeah. But you, okay, that's interesting. Because I said, I don't know much about the mixed race experience, so I have to hear it from people. Um, it's interesting that um, I mean, you've, you see, you've, seen, a... you've seen the comments, like I'll say, I'll say something that's like what people, you know, idealistic, what they like to hear. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, strong black woman, blah, blah, blah. I'll just watch the comments. Yeah, da, 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 da. And as soon as I say something that may not fall in line with their morals, she's not black anyway. She's not black anymore. She don't belong to us. Look at her with her Indian self or her Asian self or her white. Is that to do with, your, that to do with your political side? Is that to do when you talk about things politically? 
Yeah, but then a, a lot of the time, especially within the black community, they, I, their politics is very identity driven. Mm -hmm. So people's politics is driven by their race, mm -hmm. oftentimes in, within ethnic minorities. It, it's very hard to be able to separate Because you that. seem very politically aware. You seem like you... I'm still learning. Yeah, yeah, but you seem more politically aware than the average person on Instagram, let's say. Right? Yeah, I, t I take an interest in it. When yeah. did you? When did that come about? Like, and why did you become more politically aware? Was there some kind of catalyst that made you want to become more politically aware? I would say that again, when when I was younger, like many people, mm -hmm. I probably was that. I wouldn't say virtue signalling, but I was very left leaning. Right. Socialist driven. Most ethnic minorities were. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I caught, I found myself like many others, just, I don't want to say complaining because there is a justification for raising these issues, mm -hmm. but it felt like I was going around in a cycle complaining, mm -hmm. you know, like a lot of, a lot of the, the white man's done this or this, mm -hmm. that, and the third and rape oppression. And in London, we can't get a break. And, and I thought, do you know what, how does this system work? Mm -hmm. How does everything connect? Where's the dots? And how can, instead of me going on social media at the time, like Facebook or, you know, having these discussions in black spaces or what can be done? So I thought to myself, I'm going to get involved in politics. I'm going to understand the basics. And the basics of politics would be, you know, um, the various parties that's out, out there, mm -hmm. their policies, what they stand for. Now, I live in a very heavily Labour constituency. Right. Um, so I started to go to the meetings and when I started to listen, I thought, hang on a you minute. You went to Labour meetings? Yeah. Black people don't go to meetings. Sorry, go on, that was just me being sad. <laughs> no, it's true. <laughs> go on, go on. It's true though, because that's what I would see. I would see on 